The People Under the Stairs American Horror Comedy Film written and directed by Wes Craven and starring Brandon Adams, Everett McGill, Wendy Roby, and A.J. Langer. The plot follows a young boy and two adult robbers who become trapped in a house belonging to a strange couple after breaking in to steal their collection of rare coins. Craven has stated that The People Under the Stairs was partially inspired by a news story from the late 1970s, in which two burglars broke into a Los Angeles household inadvertently causing the police to discover two children who had been locked away by their parents. The film The film was a surprise commercial success and has received generally mixed to positive reviews from critics and audiences, and has been analyzed for its satirical depiction of gentrification, class warfare and capitalism. A Home Alone for Adults I found the people under the stairs very entertaining as it combines comedy with suspense. The mum and dad character were really creepy but provided the most laughs in the movie which is kind of odd in a way. The kid, who is kind of annoying, is similar to Macaulay Culkin's character in Home Alone and the mom and pop characters are similar to the burglars so from Home Alone too but, but instead the of the Can bad guys invading the good guys house the Just good guys are invading the bad down. guys house. The house is cool as heck with loads of secret passages and gizmos, it's a child's dream playhouse. It has thrills, suspense, laughs and gore. There is not much bad to say against it but don't go into this thinking it's a horror movie because it isn't. A darn good flick. Ten tenths. Who are you? Buffoon. Real name's Poindexter. Y'all been evicted. You gotta be out tomorrow midnight. Fine print in the lease says you gotta pay triple else get out. Babies? Yeah, sure, he knows. He don't care. He wants to tear it out. People in there. Lots of nice wood for my fireplace. Leave their home. I don't believe I was speaking to you. Damn books. He don't need that kind of turning tricks on the strip. Willie's a crack addict and boy to do. He wants to be a doctor. You can't even afford to get a cancer in her she can't afford to have taken out. Leroy, Leroy. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You listen up, you ladies, or about the neighborhood. He just want to bring the wrecking ball in so he can lie. The landlord of this building? Yeah. I found So? So the name of the company is the same as the name where your landlord lives. About the gold. This. You want to be stupid, Leroy? You don't need fool for that. We got a plan. Foot, Mama. And you gonna skate around town looking so bad? You the man of the house now. No, ma'am. Stand up. Hope. Do you love your mother? Good girl. It's your fork. Fork? I must have fallen. Somewhere on, on the floor, maybe. You don't know. Uh, I know. Some niggas robbed this store. You have one of your headaches? She's been feeding that thing between the walls again. Bad girls. Uh, forever. No bars on the windows.
But I'd just like to show you some of these delicious cookies we're selling. I'm sorry. You I'm can. Sorry. Well, do you have like a bathroom? I can along. That's okay. Heavy wire screens on the back windows. They've been hippie. That looks on the outside? Jeez, what else? The alarms? I want to take a look. I'm not going in Sunday without I'm checking out the security. Just look at. You sent a boy to do a man's job. That's what you get. Help you? Gas. Oh, that one we've already got. There's one inside the house that I need to check. The question is we got a leak on the block and it could be very dangerous. Identification. Has us all a bit on edge. Well, I completely understand. I don't know how he got past that woman. She's got x ray Coin collection for himself and cutting me out. Cutting us out. Old folks, kids, or something. Maybe Spencer should stick his ugly cherry pussy. Now he's probably in there hiding the best for himself. Good shit for himself? Why not throw your mom out in the street along with Ruby and the. Might not be so smart. <clears throat> I mean, it's the first day of my third. Too young to get an ass. Fucked out of the way. Spencer. Spencer. Uh, so, Leroy, you think I got what it takes? No door stands up. To sleep. It's open right up now. I'm trying to wait there, probably. You say I. Why do you think? Out the front. Let first we find out what's up with good old Spence. Or maybe you two chicken shit. We'll surprise him. Come on. I don't think we should go up there, Lee. Back in there.
As a matter of fact, why don't you crawl in? Just like Spencer. What kind of shit you talking? I'm talking we gotta get out. You seen Spencer? I seen Spencer, all right. He fine. He thought he was white before. He used to see that suck. My name is Fool. You never seen a brother before? Never had a brother. No, I mean, you know, outside. You say it never? Can't get out. No one ever. People have tried. But each one they found turned out bad. Some sorts and put the boys in the cellar. One by one. Yeah, right. So. I do not see. It's the only way. What is that? What? That yelling. What is that? Well, that and now Daddy can't find him. <laughs> Got something 
for my birthday. Yes. Cure home. Description of a van used in a 211 last night. Daddy, police out back. Well, as a matter of fact, we did see you. You know they're working on your door, don't you? No harm done. Uh, a lot of this sort of thing. It's as if we're the prisoners and the criminals. Liquor store? I advise you to stay inside, keep your doors. Hope you catch them. Father's one sick mother, you know that? They'd kill you if they heard a word you just said. Well, I'm plain Dexter. Really? Everybody calls me fool. You did this? Why do you make these? I saw too much. up there?
security friend in the walls. Now, what do you think of that? Shut the f Stay. Keep moving, Alice. Uh-oh. We gotta keep going, Alice. Burn in hell for showing the way! Prove it. Come on. I know you're in there, you little piece of shit. Oh, shit. You killed Prince! Look, you can... We might have to climb down. There's nothing to hold on to. Climb down. If we take a jump off the edge, we might be able to hit it. And I don't know how... Alice! What's out there? What were you doing with it? Come here. should come from anybody else, I'd tan your hide and make You do have enough to pay your rent for a while. Please. Keep hold of it, and we'll all be smiling. Meanwhile, brother and sister, tail end of the craziest family, selling cheap coffins for expensive prices. They got the greedier they got. The greedier they got, the crazier they get serious. But believe me, when I was a kid, none of You okay, fool? I done tarot cards on you again. They come up real sketchy. And maybe that means me. Used to be the house was used for, uh, long time ago, Sergeant. The Lord saw fit to come. She still lives here. This should have never happened. Don't need to apologize for that. We want to be helpful. See another cop or cookie in my life. And ever. Dog. I 
was worried. I'm pretty out of it. What'd you use? Force tranquilizers. Any more of these bricks out? I can't. They've got. Let's see if we can get some more of these bricks out. Let me down, please. Come down from there and help me to bed. Daddy. I said now. Meet me at the window. Do him like the others. Tell him. Only it won't be his ears I... They stole you. Like they did Roach and all the others. The escape was drain it, put broken glass and rocks in the bottom. Wait, Roof. What's up there? How dare you? With him, I know it. Not my little girl. She's a whore. Uh. <laughs> Hold it. I think I hear something. My brakes. You bastard! Oh, come on. Hang on. Oh, dear. What? You know who we are? Uh -uh. There's the living room. Fool. Go. I'm going to get the shotgun. He's filthy. He's bad. He's not. I told you. Those two. and I represent the association of people who have been unjustly evicted, exploited, and just a hell host while well, you guys get rich charging ridiculous rents. Then it's that...
saying our piece, ma'am. Not only are you bad landlords, but ten here. All I see are a couple of new... What are you gonna do? Shoot us off? That bitch cold. Nobody gets out. Hello, that you? Listen, there's a way out for you guys. If you can get past the man, son, to the birds, to the women. No problem. I've studied with the best. There's no money in the kiddo. Fool. Uh, uh, Mama's gone. Oh, shit. Where did that great... Oh, she went? Don't let her get away. Here. Hey. Hey. You know I wouldn't let you get away that easy. Myself a thousand times. Believe it. Don't be crazy now. Just put the gun down. <laughs> put the gun down. Anyway. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> The best horror movie from times better than Home Alone, The People Under the Stairs is Home Alone for Adults. The People Under the Stairs, 1991, is Wes Craven's horror film my third favorite horror film from Master of Horror Wes Craven. This horror film is miles way better than Home Alone. I love this film to death I am huge Wes Craven fan I love his work. A Nightmare on Elm Street will always be my favorite Wes Craven with Shocker but The People Under the Stairs is the third favorite horror film from Master of Horror Wes Craven. Yes I miss Wes Craven he passed away on August and he passed away on August 30, 2015. He lost battle with brain cancer at home in Los Angeles. I am wondering if youths today teenagers know who Wes Craven is or watching his movies he directed. 
I expected cheesiness and was pleasantly surprised. I rented this movie for the sheer fun of watching a really bad horror movie. Well, needless to say, I was very entertained. I still can't get over the acting ability of the cast, they were very good. The mother especially. Very talented. Even the special effects were neat. One thing I had about the movie, did the father have to wear that bizarre S in it and suit? Very odd. Anyway, rent it and be entertained. Burn in Hell I don't know how I found out about this movie to be honest. I think I was just really bored one day and bought it at a video store. But, I'm glad I did. The movie is both funny and creepy, and personally I couldn't stop watching. It was quite interesting. Ten tenths, my favorite break in movie. The concept of captivity within a mansion is probably done many times before this film, but in this movie it was my first time seeing it so it has a certain aura of magic. The hellish fortress is a world of its own. With mommy and daddy managing the place with all kinds of rules and devices at their disposal to keep their prisoners under control all while concealing this for outsiders. Does everything right? I bought this in a Wes Craven combo pack in the mall for five bucks for three movies, I was not expecting much. This was the first one that I watched because the other two just looked because the other two just looked like crap. At first I wasn't sure about how I'd like it going into this movie, but then it turned the raw factor up. The acting in this movie was great. Alice and Fool took the show along with the husband and wife which I forget their names now. Roach, was one of the best characters in a horror movie, ever. Reminded me of the main mutant from The Hills Have Eyes, but less of a $8% hole. Ten tenths.